going on guys welcome back to another borderlands 3 video with your boy scare soldier In today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to spec into your skill trees so we only got 48 points as you see so i'm going to show you how to optimize each and every one of those points i'm going to give a small explanation obviously on why and why not we like why and why we don't do things and also because the banjo build is a very popular zane build right now i wanted to make sure you guys are putting your points in the right thing so let's get right into it First thing you're going to want to do is put 5 points to Synchronicity, no brainer, right? Then you can put 5 points to the Brook. These two alone are going to give you a lot of gun damage, okay? Put it that way. You will not be equipping your Digiclone. And obviously without the Digiclone, Quick Breather and Fractal Frags, you don't need to put points in there. Duct Tape Mod sucks, don't even waste your time. Wasting 3 points on a mag size, it's just mag size, who cares? And then we do not need borrowed time since we'll, we, we will be using the good misfortune okay so you don't really need borrowed time now we're going to go to the undercover tree the green tree you're going to want to equip your barrier that's the first thing you want to do and what we want to do is get to the all-rounder of course because this is going to give us our ultimate survivability and this is one of the most overpowered parts about zane is his barrier and to get down there we're going to start by putting some five points into ready for action and five points into adrenaline and why not put one point into confident competence because that's going to give us up to 35 percent free gun damage as long as our shields are full the rest of them do not matter so quickly we want to put five points of adrenaline reason being is because we are not using confident collected and we're, not, and we're not using borrowed time meaning we only have a bit of time to um, basically chain enemies with damage to keep our action skills active so if ever the possibility of our action skills going away this allows us to get them back really fast. So that's why I have this. Everything else you see over here is not important. Rise to the occasion we don't need because this is just health regeneration. And with the seeing dead class mod, salvation is constantly active. So it's just useless to even have rise to the occasion in the beginning. Stiff upper lip, it only gives you a maximum of 60% damage resistance. And honestly, we're not even specking deep into the undercover tree without really expensive jacket, without futility belt. So just a, just a base of 60% damage resistance really doesn't do a lot. You're still gonna die in one shot if Wotan sees you. So let me tell you something, 60% is not gonna save you at all. You don't even feel that. So don't waste your time. And again, we're not using Comic and Collected, so Brain Freeze is just if you guys like to freeze enemies, but it's kind of, that's it. You're not really getting any more benefits to freezing enemies on the map. So I wouldn't put any points here. And then Hardy Stock, you don't need any points in here because you don't want your shield capacity to be increased. Simply because the higher the capacity is, the longer it's going to take to recharge your shield to full. And we want our shields full as fast as possible. So we don't want to have to increase that time to get it full because we want our confident competence and our adrenaline to be f at its max potential. The augments you're going to want to equip is charge relay. And all rounder, we don't have much choice obviously, but we're not going to be sitting inside our shields. So obviously natties or some shit is not going to be the move. All rounder, of course, that's why we even specced into this tree in the beginning. And then charge relay because that for those eight seconds that you do hurry up and pick up your shield you'll get eight seconds of movement speed but this will not obviously count while you're inside your shield um but just when you touch your shield so that's pretty much it but at least you get a little bit of movement speed for a little bit and a little more reload speed why not now my favorite tree obviously so you're going to want to start by equipping your sentinel this is the hitman tree the blue tree and then you're going to want to put five points of violent speed five points into violent momentum one point of death follows close and our goal is to get down to the good misfortune so now we also want to have one point into drone delivery because this is going to allow us to drop our piss grenade our hex grenade whatever i'm using the piss and we also want to get these down below so we're gonna to have to put a couple in salvation of course that's a no-brainer so minimum of two points there and then one point to cool hand to get a little more reload speed activate that why not then you see our class mod gives us an extra point of violent violence and an extra three points into playing dirty already. So with that being said, we're gonna put a couple points. We're gonna max out violent violence. Reason being, you're gonna notice a huge difference. A lot of people might be like, ah, oh, it's just fire rate, you know, it doesn't really. <laughs> violent violence is actually what makes this build like kill the fastest I've seen Zane kills an opponent, period. If you like killing mobs and you like mobbing, Violent violence is going to melt. You are going to be killing enemies 
insanely fast, I promise you, okay? Next, <clears throat> we got Good Misfortune unlocked. You're going to put a total of only two points. All you need is two points in here. One, two. Cool. We got that out the way. Now that leaves us with five points left. So what do we do? Obviously playing dirty. Don't worry, guys. Do not forget about that. So playing dirty, we're going to add, but we only need, we already have three from our class mod. We're going to put a total of one, two, three in here. That's it. That's more than enough. Reason being is, again, Death Follows Close increases this chance by 25%. And with our seen dead button, our seen dead class mod, it gives us another 25% effectiveness. So we are getting anywhere from 85% to almost 100% alone with the Death Follows Close and our seen dead class mod. So putting any more points in plain dirty is a complete waste. And it's just going to be kind of overkill. You want to get the optimal amount. And I'm telling you right now, just put about six total, including your class mod into plain dirty. And you guys are good to go. You can even maybe put one less in here. But anyways, that leaves you with two points left. Me personally, I love the way salvation works. And I can literally be standing in front of Wotan and he can be shooting me in the face. And if as long as I'm shooting him, I will not die. So what I like to do is put one extra point into salvation because we are relying heavily on salvation to keep us our health a lot up. So three points in here. And then finally, I like to put one more into cool hand simply because we're going to be using the redistributor quite a bit and it does have a high reload has a higher reload time. So we will be putting two points into this um, to help us get that reload time down. All right. So the augments, lastly, you're going to want to equip bad dose and static field. Reason being is because, again, this is not a calm, cool, and collective build. So we do not rely on cryo anymore to help us freeze enemies. So Winter's Joan doesn't really mean much to us for this type of setup. Boomsday, we do not need because it sucks. <laughs> as simple as that. And then Almighty Ordinance also sucks. You guys guessed it. It sucks. Again, I'm doing 45,000 damage with one shot from my Maggie. Do you think a little 20,000 missile is gonna empty, is gonna kill an enemy? Come on. And then this only works once the whole duration of the Sentinel. And the Sentinel is gonna be active pretty much a very, very long time. So yeah, you guys get the idea. So that's how you wanna set up your Banjo build, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will show you my guns really quickly because again this was not about the banjo build or nothing that's already said and done i just wanted to emphasize on where to put your skill points but i will show you guys what i'm using anyways so i have my redistributors i've got my lineup over here they're all anointed with the sentinel active you gain 50 percent damage bonus to cryo so you see all that then we got our Dazzler Lee Maggie to pick off those little turret dudes and also those heavyweights who are resistant to literally almost every element of the game who are freaking annoying. I got my Transformer because the Transformer, honestly, the weakness of the barrier is shock. I find that shock damage, shock elemental puddles and all that stuff really, really get through your barrier. So the Transformer basically just annihilates any, any shock. So you do not take any shock damage whatsoever, which is beautiful, which say, which makes you, you're going to see how tanky you are. When you have to transform on, you're going to be like, shit, I never, I don't really take damage. Like, seriously, it's ridiculous. And then obviously with the anointment, while Sentinel's active movement speed is increased by another 15%. And of course, the faster Zay moves, the more uh, gun damage he does, which is great. The grenade I'm using is the piss grenade, also anointed very, very well. And as when it's thrown, I get another 25% weapon damage for six seconds and damage enemies take another 20% damage. So basically this grenade alone gives me another 45% damage for six seconds every time it's thrown. Lastly, of course, we have the banjo equipped. And then with the class mod, as I mentioned before, I have the scene dead. And again, this gives us bonuses of 25% weapon damage, 31% SMG damage, and then plus 45% Hyperion weapon critical damage. And of course, my redistributor is a Hyperion weapon. So that makes this gun insane. As you noticed, those bonuses all put together are ridiculous. Now, I got good news for you, though. The ones who don't have it, you could get a chance to get this. I can dupe this a couple copies for you guys. But I'm going to choose five people. Rules, you got to be subscribed to the channel. 
and you have to like and share the video. Now, once you guys do that, I will pick, you guys got to comment down below which, which one or two weapons or class mods or whatever you want. I will dupe those for you. I will pick five people. So all you got to do again, subscribe, like, and share the video. And I will dupe five subscribers, whatever they want. Okay. So that's how it's going to go down. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope this helps. So here's the build quickly again. Boom, undercover tree, hitman tree, and then the double agent tree. That's it for the video, guys. Smash that like button for me. We're almost at 300 subscribers, so definitely subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for the next videos. I'll see you in the next one. It's your boy, Scare Soldier, signing out. Peace. So now with all our skill tree set up the way it is, obviously including the banjo, let's put it all to the test now, and I want to show you guys how intense this build can go, and I want to emphasize how insane violent violence is, okay? So... Here's the modifiers real quick, the most annoying ones in the game. Enemies fire two stupid projectiles, but it doesn't matter. Let's go. Okay. Let's get it. Pull out the Maggie. Let's go, boys. Solo dolo. Solo dolo. I want to emphasize how fast we kill the enemies, so let's go. Keep in mind, I'm not using the class mod uh, for my Maggie, so. Okay, this guy's almost dead. He's peasy. Pick up this crap. There you go. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Alright. Come on. There you go. Got him. Almost done. And then we get to the fun part. Alright, cool. Now let's go. Come on. Come to Papa. See that? That was how fast I killed that guy. As soon as they're mob around, they're all dead. Just insane damage. I'm using a shock as well right now. Easy. It's like nothing. Look at this. As soon as their enemies close to each other, it's like it melts so fast, right? Where's this guy? Remember when this used to actually be like annoying and hard when we first started this? Now look what we created, guys. All right, look at that. It's nothing. Nothing. What's a heavyweight? Dead. It's just insane. And you're killing two enemies at the same time. So it's like it makes this run go even faster. We're just chilling over here. And you notice that like my, my health is relatively full. Never really goes down. Come on, let's go. Next. This guy resistant, of course he is. Oh yeah, he's a shock, all right. All right, cool, whatever, we don't have to deal with him no more. Let's go. Look at my health, look at my uh, shields, always full, guys. No more ads around him, that sucks. Alright, let's get a nice chain going on. You know what, it dies even quicker than this, to be honest. Alright, there we go, that's it. Sometimes uh, the damage doesn't even register. Okay. Let's grab this, boom. All right, let's go. Let's go mess up these Valkyries real quick. Pull out our shock redistributor. Our shield's already on cooldown. Give me that barrier. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's pay a visit to them. Already on immunity. That, like that. Real fast. I'm just going to wait for them to get out of immunity. Not really a point of me hanging around. And the trick is we want to keep all these ads around. We want to keep them around, so... Just gonna keep doing those circles and and you see that's why we have adrenaline get back our uh, action skills real fast we can just shoot an enemy randomly just to get all our stuff back but I do want to keep some of these ads alive there's 
not a lot of ads right now. That's its strongest attack too. Alright. Hell steal like it's nothing. Alright, let's go pay his visit to this Valkyrie right here. Alright. Come on. Alright, let's go. Let's rain on him. Where is he at? There we go. See, the ads die so fast. We're doing so much damage. Alright, I'll see you when you're out of immunity, buddy. He's gonna be out of immunity very soon. There we go. He's in immunity. Perfect. Now we're just gonna do a couple little circles here. Not a lot of ads right now. Alright. Keep our sentinel there. Ah, uh, we don't really care. Let's go. All we're doing right now is we're just buying time. We want those Valkyries to jump down. Where's this Valkyrie? Look how fast his life goes down when there's ads around here. That's the difference. Get out of my face. Okay. Easy shit. Alright, not enough ads. There you go, there we go. Get all those ads. Yeah, yeah, get all those ads. Keep our, just gotta put a couple shots, keep our action skills full. Alright, next Valkyrie jump down. Where is he at? Oh, there you go. Come on, little boy. Malrata. Come on here, come here. Where the fuck is he? I could just shoot at this guy. Look at his life going down, down, down. That's why I want to keep those ads alive. Now we can pull out the, the corrosive one for the remainder of this. Get our action skills full back again. It's pretty simple, guys. Pretty easy, to be honest. Get our action. Oh, shit. I was actually proccing off of one of them. All right, let's go. Dead. Where's this guy? Let's murk him real fast. Dead. And they're all Valkyries dead, guys. Let's get out of here now. Pretty simple. Yep. We going. Pull out our shock. Ready? Melt. This guy didn't even have a chance, bro. As soon as there's two, watch the life difference, watch. See how fast his life went down? <laughs> uh, Alright, we just gotta get a little more mobs around here. Not a lot of people. <clears throat> Alright, let them all come down. Come on now. Let's go. Come on. It's fine. Come on, man. Where are they all at? They're all just like chilling. Come on. There you go. Get that little extra 50% damage. I'm not even worried about none of that. Merc. Merc. Everything's dead. Two for one. Oh, this guy's still alive somehow? Nothing. Hi. It ain't nothing, guys. Look at this. I just get to sit here, pick them off. See ya. Just shoot his little critical point here. There you go. Pretty simple. Bye bye. All right, let's go kill the rest of these guys here. It's just nothing. That fire rate is insane. Let's go pile them all up.
It's too easy. Watch this. That's how fast they die. When, when there's two or three enemies together, they die with the snap of a finger. So what we're gonna do now, get some more ammo. Having a little too much fun killing these enemies, but we don't have to kill them. We're gonna run all the way through the bridge right quick. Alright, everything's on cooldown pretty much already. Sweet. Grab some ammo. Let's go. We're gonna need the ammo for the bridge. Alright. Slide back down. We're gonna run through this whole phase now. So why bother? Dun, 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 dun. Pretty simple, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying this build. As you see, I never went down once. Doing a lot of damage. Keeping my action skills active for the most part. If there was no immunity phase of those Valkyries, we bet it would be different, but yeah. Alright, not even worried. Alright, let's run. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get that speed. There we go. Alright. Get our action skills full. Boom, easy. Let's run away down here. Don't say I, didn't worry you. I remember when the bridge used to be hard. And we just sit here and let them all come to us. Alright, so let's have fun, boys. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. I love when I see those chains. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. <laughs> like, it's too easy. Like, damn. Where's this guy here? Oh, these flying little things here. Oh, these guys are just annoying. Dead. Wow, oh, where, where, where's the challenge, man? Where's the challenge? Where's the challenge, man? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> like, did my shield even drop once? Like, what the hell? This can't be how you saw this going. Oh my god. Alright. I'm chilling, man. I am chilling. Come on, let's go. <laughs> They're all screaming, bro. Come on, stop running away. Zing gang, banjo gang, I guess, right? No, oh, the violent violence is insane. Yeah, whatever. Y'all ain't nothing. Y'all don't scare me. Oh, that guy's already dead? Okay. Yeah, you don't own nothing, bro. All right, the bridge is already completed. Damn, that was fast, all right. Let's just melt this guy. Actually, let them all bunch up, fuck it. All right. They both did the same move at the same time. Oh, they're both dead already? Damn, okay. And that's it, boys. That's how you do the bridge. Alright, now let's go fuck up Old Town quick, quick. Alright, I'm gonna put my cutsmans on and stuff real quick. 
All right, so we don't need the cryo anymore. Just need two cuts, man. So this one here. And then the corrosive one right here. Perfect. That's all we need. Let the action co skills come back. Show the modifiers once again. There they are. All right. Waiting our action skills all come back here. Let's go. Drop that down, pick that up. Shield's already done. There you are, you big old Ferocity is my little man. All right, immunity again. Let's melt that real quick. Damn, I missed. Hold up. Get a better jump here. Easy. That was all me. Violent violence. Get all those bullets off real quick. Just melt. I will turn. All right, let's pull out the uh, the shock cutsman here. Get up top. Should be good there. One more jump here. All right. Dun 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 dun. dun. Easy shit. Let's just pull out this cutsman real quick. Oh shit. What the hell steal? Let's come on now. Final Vellus helps with that lifesteal too, by the way. Come on now. Bye, Wotan. No, he's gonna jump again. Fuck. Wanted to kill him. There you go. He's dead now. Easy shit. Pull up my other redistributor here. Come on, go close to him. Go close to him. Alright, should be easier. Alright, let's pull off the uh, the cutsman here. So he just keeps moving, it's annoying. Aw oh, man. He keeps running like a pussy. Come on. Come on, he almost dead. He keeps moving, it's fucking annoying. And dead. That's how you do it, boys. Pretty simple. Uh, 
Oh, these dogs are so fucking annoying. There you go. Dead. Dead. Alright. That's it for the takedown, boys and girls. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. It's not even hard anymore. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's the gameplay to to how everything comes together. Obviously, it's it's just about where to put the skill points and stuff like that, to be honest. I mean, the banjo, you guys already know about that. But I just wanted to emphasize on where you guys should use your skill points. And as I clearly showed you guys, this is the end result. Really, really good survivability. Insane amount of damage. What the hell was that anointment? But yeah. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. It's your boy, Scare Soldier, signing out.